Hi, I'm Steve Vanderbilt with Citizens United for Change, and I'm here to set the record straight today. We've had extreme growth with Citizens United for Change over the last three months. We've recently just added our 2,708th member. That's explosive growth of an organization over the last few months. Recently, we ran our database of names across the list of our group in Facebook and found out, rather shockingly, that only three people on Facebook, in our Facebook group, we're actual physical supporting members of our organization. So what we did is we sent out an email to all the people in the group asking one question. What can we do better to serve you? We've received several emails back, but primarily most of them fall in one or two one of two categories. One of the, the first category is people asking us, frankly, how we can assist them to gain grant funds. It's the position of the organization that we are anti-grant, and here's why. With the current debt load of the United States government, really it's irrational to think that there is anything such as free money. Frankly, what it is is if you're given a grant, it's taken out of someone else's pocket. Someone else has to pay for it. That's one part of it. The second part is we support subsidized loans and local area lending. Here's the reason why. Statistically speaking, People who take grants tend to not take their grant loans serious. People who get subsidized loans tend to take those funds serious because they must be repaid. From that, they tend to develop productive businesses, making contributions back in the local economy, such as jobs, creative product, advertising, so on and so forth, which is something that we support, reorganizing and building America from the ground up. We highly encourage that. The second type of email that we've been getting was from people who set up their own organizations, their nonprofits, and so on and so forth, and basically accused us of chasing money. Citizens United for Change is set up a certain way. We've done months worth of research before we formed the organization. We are the only organization that successfully circumvents three areas of the law that prevent organizations from attacking the two party system. Those laws are predominantly in the area of taxation being a nonprofit, voters' laws, campaign finance laws. Citizens United for Change is organized in a union concept and did not need to seek federal author authorization to organize as a union because we're not a labor union. We're a union of United States citizens. And there is a difference between a union and an association. It's a small difference, but there's a legal one, and we have met that legal uh, legal issue. Now. What I'm leaning on here is a box of this week's, a portion of this week's legal research. The bill for this legal research for this week totaled a little over $24,000. Now, if you do the math, we have 2,700 members that pay $5 a month to be a group. Obviously, no one is here making money. What we do is we have a, a tremendously talented staff who predominantly volunteer their time and their resources to accomplish the mission at hand. And the mission at hand is meeting the objectives that's set forth by the union. The objectives are pretty sizable. One of the things we're doing is filing a lawsuit against the Obama administration for conspiracy to murder a United States citizen. Now, it's not that this person has been claimed as being a terrorist, whether he is guilty or not. That is not the issue. The issue here is this person is a United States citizen and under federal law, under the Constitution, under the Sixth and Seventh Amendments, He's guaranteed a jury trial by his peers. And if he's found innocent, then he's to be let go. If he's found guilty, then he's to be punished under the law. It's beyond the administration's authority to basically licensure the assassination and murder of a United States citizen. It's a dangerous precedence to be set by any group. Because once the federal government has found out that it can sanction the murder of a United States citizen, it will once again do that in the future. It's wrong and it's illegal. We're also looking at other, method, other methods of lawsuit action, lobbying efforts, and collective bargaining on issues as tax reform, property rights, financial responsibility, financial reform. We at the organization are the only group in the nation who legally, on behalf of our members, can take action in the courtroom and in other avenues. We condone people to reach out to political organizations and contribute their time and resources to, in, in the projects that they believe in. However, 
If you're wanting to start a political organization, take the time to research the laws. Understand what you're getting into. Personally, in the last four months, I've received 78 death threats and emails a day attacking my character or credibility. I never understood or realized that there would be this type of caustic action involved in doing something for the positive. It's something that you should all understand. No one gets involved in this type of activism for monetary gain. There's not any here. People tend to get involved in this type of activity for one reason. They want to see a change. For me, I have children. I would like them to see that I would like to see them grow up in the same type of country that I grew up in with the rights and liberties that were given to us under the Constitution. We at Citizens United for Change are politically neutral. We are not on the left and we're not on the right. Truthfully, we're organized to hold the politicians, elected officials, people running for office, financial institutions, and other organizations accountable for their actions. We do that through a talented group of, of members, of staff members, a dedicated group of members which we work on their behalf, and the resources provided to us under the law. We are a peaceful organization. We work with outside civic groups, and we push along the agendas that we can. The legal organization of the, or of the Union, or Citizens United for Change, is one thing. We can only work and operate if we have members. The larger the member base, the more voice that we have. If you joined in the last three months, please accept my heartfelt thank you for helping us with this mission. Not only with your $5 a month, but also with your name on our membership form. If you go to our sister site, www.regimechange.org, you'll find a repository of supporting documents and data, stories and talking points that are important for the average person to know. For today, setting the record straight, I'm Steve Vanderbilt with Citizens United for Change. I encourage you to join our organization if you would like to see in changing these things we've talked about every day of the year, just not the one day a year you step into the ballot box. Thank you. Have a good day.